Good day everyone, I'm Beatrice, the Community Manager of Gimmer. We are now continuing our series of tutorials and today's video we will give you a better understanding of the hold to use model. Gimmer, as you probably know, is a DAP, a decentralized platform software that uses the hold to use model. This means that for you to create more than one bot, you need to have the GMR tokens on your wallet generated inside the platform. Unlike other platforms, we do not charge monthly fees. For you to use our bots, it's only necessary that you have a minimal amount of GMRs for each bot you want to create. One of the key benefits of this model is that you keep your tokens in hand and still keep the bot running. The gamer will not trade with these hold tokens within the platform, meaning once you have these tokens on the gamer, your bots will be working for you and consequently you will be holding your GMRs. This means that you buy GMR in one exchange and transfer it to gamer. Today, the minimum amount to hold a running strategy is 250 GMR. To see the information regarding the GMR tokens, you have to click on strategies. You can see the total number of tokens you are holding in balance and the amount you're currently using. Now we're going to talk about the live bots. These are the strategies that you have set up, turned on and are currently trading in the platform. Now I'm going to click on this strategy I already created. As you see, inside this strategy, we have the running and activity tab where it shows the start button. So when you click it, the bot starts searching for opportunities to trade according to the strategy you set before. Here you can see the sentiment bar that indicates to the bot the action of buying and selling according to the market. If you want to know more about the sentiment bar, please check out the tutorial number 4 which explains everything about it. Below we have the live days, start balance, current balance and the total profit. In live days shows the number of days that this strategy has been live for. In this case, this bot has been working for 3 days and started trading with one Ethereum. The current balance is the sum of the total profit and the start balance. In total, we have here a little bit more than 4 Ethereum, and the total profit shows the gain obtained by using this specific strategy. In pair, it shows what pair we are currently working. In this case, it set up IOTA and Ethereum which means that the bot buys and sells IOTA with Ethereum, not Bitcoin or Dollar. Below, we have the number of trades done by the bot, how many it won and how many it lost. This bot paused so I could record this video and when you change the values inside the exchange, it erases the history. That's why it's not showing the number of losses and gains. In holding, this red dot right here it shows the market performance of this pair without Gimmer. And in performance, it shows the Gimmer performance in this time period. In this case, it had 330% gain from the previous trading. Sentiment buying reflects the sentiment bar. Right now, it's at 100% in buy. And below, it shows the log of what's happening with the bot when they are live. This graphic is from TradingView inside Gimmer. It shows the pair that we are working, the time period, the selected exchange, the indicators. In this video, we are not going to focus on them because there are plenty of videos explaining this TradingView graphic that you can search for. This is just an overview of this graphic inside Gimmer and the little green coin indicates the buy moments and the red coin with a little S inside the sell moments done by the bot. In bot performance and history, it shows the bot history while it was live. When it bought, when it sold, and when you have more tradings, it will show on this right side. 
You may wonder why the bot purchased IOTA and the total profit is 3 Ethereum. In this case, the value was updated in the exchange and since the bot was working at the time, these values were updated by the exchange as well. The bot stopped and it will start again considering the new balance now. That's it, hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please comment below. See you next time.